Uh, good afternoon folks, thought I'd do a quick update video of what I've been working on uh, over this last month or so. Hope everyone's safe uh, and obviously in these trying times at the moment. The only uh, upside is obviously with the lockdown is getting through quite a lot of figure painting, probably a lot more than I normally would. Um, so there's always a, a plus side despite what's going on. Um, so this is what I've been working on. Uh, at Christmas I got a, a bit of loot, so uh, I'll just show what I've got. So I've got these a box of Perry foot nights and they also got a box of the English army. So I uh, got stuck into these pretty much straight away um, and this is a, the result. Um, I also bought myself a box of uh, the Agincourt French uh, infantry. Um, what is a bit unusual is the other boxes have 36 figures in for um, for twenty pounds, uh, I'm not sure what that is in uh, in dollars or euros, um, but this box has forty two, so it's uh, definitely a good box to get. Although I don't think you would need lots of these boxes, um, you probably need more of the knights for for the men at arms, and obviously longbow, but specific to the uh, to the English army. Um, but I, I I'm gonna make well I've already made a unit of crossbow and I'm gonna make a unit of uh, like town militia sort of thing. So. So, that's what we're doing. Right, so here we've got uh, three units of French knights. I also bought uh, some Perry casualty figures as well that you can see there. Um, I find these um, I find these knights really easy to paint. I don't know what if that's because I'm coming to an end of a Napoleonic project, or I'm in the middle. I'd say I'm in, be honest, I'm not nearly at the end. I'm, I'm in the middle of a Napoleonic project. Um, but I do I do find these very easy to paint so it's basically I paint them black I dry brush with uh, silver um, and then I go over with the actual you know tabard colors and such uh, depending on what they are and even though they are quite mixed I mean this unit here is generally all sort of the same sort of bard you know, not barding sorry uh, same sort of surcoat um, the one at the back oh, sorry the one in the middle there you can see it's a mix a mix of different uh, knights, shall we say. And the one at the back is a similar unit where it's uh, the majority of, of the same leader, shall we say, commander. Um, so that's the uh, that's the French knights. Uh, also did a unit of English knights. Uh, pretty much the same. That's one good thing about the box is you can the the one uh, obviously the English army box, the longbow, are specific to the English army. But the foot knights box, uh, this one here, you can use for either side, and they all come with flags as well, uh, which is a bonus. Because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this project. Uh, I could have bought, you know, some nicer flags uh, from places that I normally buy my flags. But to be honest, I wanted to keep this a bit, a bit more low cost. Um, so I've used just, all these flags are just the ones that you get in the box. Um, and so that's the, uh, the English knights. Just if I can zoom in a little bit there. I think the, I'm not quite sure what it's called, but the, the circular thing on his head there is what sets him out as being English. I think only the English wore those. Um, but apart from that, obviously the, uh, the St. George Cross as well. And the French generally have a cross, I'm trying to apologise, I don't know what their, their cross is called, but it's generally a white cross, so you can just see that chap there at the back. So with the English set, you also get the uh, longbow men. So these are my uh, units of longbows. Got that one there, and that one there. So these are I'm I'm using these for hail Caesar. I'm keeping my units small in size because it's going to be I believe it's well it's going to be a, a quite a while before I can get down to the club. So if I want to do any gaming with the boys, uh, it's going to be on a kitchen table. So I'm going to have to keep the units down to the small size to be able to do a, a decent battle. Uh, the good thing about this period is the battles weren't massive so com compared to the likes of Napoleonics. You know, we're looking at, you know, t sometimes 8,000 versus 12,000 or, you know, 15,000 versus 20,000 or not, nothing really more. I don't think it, many of them go above 30,000. Um, so that's it. So that's the 100 Years War project that I'm working on. Um, I still got a, like I say, for the uh, French 
uh, the French infantry here. Yeah, I've still got some militia that I'm working on at the moment. Let um, me see there. Some, some pictures there on the back. Oh, very nice. So, and the only unit I've done for them is these uh, crossbow. Probably done them for this period. I've probably done them a bit too uniformed. Um, I'll try and mix it up with my, my, my next units. Try and mix it up a little bit, put a bit, put a bit more browns and that in there, rather than making them as uniformed as what they are. I like that you get these large shields in with with the uh, with this box set as well. Um, I say you get forty two figures in that set, so it's definitely a value for money. Uh, so that's it. Um, the only other thing I've been working on is uh, the boys bought me this. Uh, let's see that this uh, board game. Um, for Christmas as well, and uh, I've just painted up the pieces that you get with the uh, with the board game. Um, obviously, the aliens are just really quick and easy to do. Just uh, painted black and then dry brushed, and then you've got the, uh, the little characters for the uh, for the game, which aren't uh, what I'll zoom in, sorry, which aren't hard to paint either. Um, and that's it. That's it really. That's all I've been working on. I have done some more Napoleonics. Uh, you see them over there. They're not based yet. A couple more units. Uh, so I'll get them uh, get them painted up, or they get their bases painted up, and then uh, I'm sort of flirting between projects at the moment. Although I am concentrating more on this one at the moment. The usual thing: you start a project, you really get into it, and then something else catches your eye, and off you go you're straight into the other one. But I am trying to do both at the same time, and you know, spend a bit of time on on the Napoleonics, and then spend a bit of time on, on these. Uh, like I said, the knights I find really easy to paint, um, so that's good. Um, so uh, hopefully should be uh, some more to follow in the future anyway everyone take care and uh, keep posting your videos I'll, I'll, I do I do uh, go through all the uh, all the channels and look at some uh, some videos uh, some outstanding stuff out, out there and some uh, some videos are very inspiring um, and certainly uh, I've seen some videos that have inspired me for this project so uh, that's it take care everyone